This is a video about the TIAC Model 2A audio mixer which I've listed on eBay. This unit was made in around 1976, I think in Japan, by TIAC. It's uh, in very good condition, both cosmetically and functionally, and I'll give you a rundown on how it works now. There are six audio inputs, um, either line or microphone for each of those switchable. And there's a third setting which is an attenuated microphone input if you have a very high output mic. They're all quarter inch jack unbalanced inputs. At the moment I have all six inputs switched to line. Um, then on each input channel there is a bass and treble control with plus or minus 10 dB which is quite a significant amount. And then each of those six input channels is switchable one or many of the output channels. So for example input 5 could be allocated to all four of the output channels or just channels 1, 3 and 4 for example just by pushing the toggles. So at the moment I've got a record deck connected on inputs 5 and 6. 5 is the left from the record deck, 6 is the right. Um, it's not a record deck directly, it's going through a preamp so it's a line level input. And I've allocated Channel 5, which is the left from the record deck, to channel 1 of the output, which is connected to the left-hand speaker coming out of an amplifier. And then the right-hand channel from the record deck is mapped through to channel 2 on the output, which is the right-hand side of the amplifier. So... <laughs> I'm not sure how clear that will be with the microphone in this camera. And the treble, I'll do in a sec. And you can hear these um, potentiometers are nice and smooth, there's no crackles, which is, considering the age, quite remarkable really. Then on channels 3 and 4 I've got a tape deck. Again, they're currently mapped to one and two on the output, and then uh, on channels one and two on the input. That's a digital music source. Okay, so just to give you um, a small example of the flexibility that you have with this mixer. I'm going to now switch the record back into record mode. So let's listen to what's coming out of the record deck, three and four. Nothing at the moment. But let me map through that digital music source into channels three and four by pressing the red and the white mapping buttons. <laughs> reason you have the delay there is you're hearing both what's coming out of the um, source here on one and two and on three and four what's coming out of the tape after it's been recorded on the tape so there's a small delay as the tape travels between the record and the playback heads so you get that strange echo effect if I bring them both up at the same time. <laughs> what you could also do for example is put the output from the tape which is three and four as an input to the tape on three and four so let's do that let's wait for the next track so what we're now going to get is a feedback with the echo if i wind the inputs up enough What if I just want to listen to the tape? Well, I could unallocate inputs one and two from the amplifier direct, so I'm only going to hear them when they've gone through the tape now, so let's put them back up again. And they're hearing them after they've come through the tape. Which is still a bit echoing, because they're still feeling back to themselves, so let's take that off. And now we're just hearing the recording. So 
also, I guess a couple of other things about the inputs and outputs on this deck. Um, there's an effects loop for each of the four output channels. So there's a pair of phonos that are connected by a little U-shaped bridge in normal operation. And I've got all four present on, on the back of the uh, mixer. They're currently connected. But if you remove those, you can optionally put some kind of effects loop, either an equalizer or an echo device or whatever you like, in between the output from the uh, mixer and whatever's going in, in from output into the output channels, if that makes sense. There's also a direct out, a cue out for each of the channels, which isn't affected by the position of the faders one through six. So for each of those input channels, there's another line uh, output, which you can use for queuing or other purposes, which isn't affected by the equalizer or by the uh, position of the faders. That's, you always get the output there. There's also um, each of the four output channels have got a bus in line socket so that you can stack mixers together and have a single master fader control uh, both mixers and I think that's oh yeah also each of the four outputs have got an aux out as well as a line out so you can send um, that audio to two different locations if you wish um, I think that's about it thank you very much